Chatsian has released two new components, the breadcrumbs and the input for one-time password. Let's take a look. So right here I have this small web application which will help me to showcase you these two new components, breadcrumbs and input, OTP. Uh, so let's start from the breadcrumbs. I have a home page, I can press on check out posts which will redirect me to the posts page. And as you can see this one is a breadcrumb and it displays the current page on which user is. Uh, in the post page, you can choose whatever uh, post you want. If I press on it, I will be redirected even deeper to the specific post. And as you can see, my URL changed and the breadcrumb as well changed and it reflects the actual location in, within the application. And also I can navigate back using the breadcrumb, so I can go to posts, I, I can go to the different post and I can go back directly to the home page. To use this component, firstly, you need to install it using chatcn UI CLI. You can copy this command and run on your local project. And in case you don't yet have chatcn installed at all in your project, I will link the video somewhere where you can find the information how to do that. So once you have the component installed, you can go ahead and create a new component, a new file for the component. I, will, I named mine breadcrumb. And then we can say const breadcrumb and export default breadcrumb. Then we can go ahead and import some components from the chat CN, which is breadcrumb, breadcrumb item, breadcrumb link, breadcrumb list, page, and separator. And we will use it them in a second. So now within the component, we can do return breadcrumb and breadcrumb list. And the breadcrumb list needs to have breadcrumb items in it. And inside of breadcrumb list, you need to have breadcrumb items. So the first breadcrumb item will be for the home page. So we say breadcrumb item, breadcrumb link with as child, which allows us to use the Next.js link component. And we provide the hash ref for the home page. So now we need to know the exact path on which user is within our application. And for that we can use use path name hook. So we retrieve paths from use path name hook imported from next navigation. And the paths will be the whole string. So we need firstly to split it with the slashes. So we do paths split slash and filter just in case there are empty strings. So once we have our path names, then we can map through them. Then we need to construct an href to which each of the breadcrumbs will redirect the user on click. Additionally, we can define a link name, which basically is a link with the first uppercase letter. Then we can define another breadcrumb item and again render a breadcrumb link with the link name and href. But the breadcrumb link together with the link is always a clickable element. And in our case, I want the last breadcrumb to be not clickable. For that, chatcn has a breadcrumb page component. So we can check if the current link is the last of the breadcrumbs. And in case it's not the last one, meaning the user should be able to click it and navigate to it, we render a breadcrumb link. And if it's the last one, we render a breadcrumb page, which basically only displays the link name. And to render those breadcrumb separators between different nested routes, we can use the breadcrumb separator component and render it in the loop, where we render the breadcrumb separator in case it's not the last path name in the list. And we also need one more separator right here, which renders a breadcrumb separator if we are not in the root URL. One important note, since we are using use path name hook, we need to declare this component as a client component because we need to parse the URL of the user. And that's basically it. Now you only need to use this component somewhere in your application, be it a header or somewhere else. In my case, I have an intro component, which is rendered for each and every page. So I just put the breadcrumb in here. Now let's take a look at this beautiful one-time password input component from ChatCN UI. I bet you already seen such components in your day-to-day -day life when you receive some code in the email and you need to provide the exact same code in the UI to be authenticated. So with this component you can enter some numbers, you can delete them, you have a separator in between. It even supports copying and pasting the code. You can do the Ctrl A to select all the numbers. It supports an oncomplete method in which you can validate the input. So in my case, if I will enter this number combination, it will say, hooray, the code is correct. In the real life though, you would call the backend to validate the code there. To install this component, you can follow the chatcn UI instructions to run some NPM commands and update your Tailwind config. 
So now let's see how to implement this one-time password input component. First, we import the component from our components UI. Then we can render this component and provide some props. First prop is max length and our code will be the maximum of six digits. Then we can define a use state hook for the value and we can pass the value to the input OTP. Then there is a render prop which allows you to render the slots for your component the way you like. But we will use the components provided by the CHADCN, which is input OTP group, input OTP separator, and the slot. So we basically render two groups separated by a separator. Additionally, slot props and render props has some useful information like is focused, is hovering, or is active, and has fake caret. Since our component will be controlled one, we also need to have an on change handler and set the value to state. Now, as mentioned previously, input OTP also has an on complete handler, so let's define this function. And in this function, you would typically call your backend to validate the code, but in our case, we'll do a front and side validation. So let's define one more state for is valid, and let's set the is valid value to true in case the code is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And finally, if it's valid, let's render an icon. In case you want to see some more chat CNUI components being used in the real life project, click here. Otherwise, thank you for watching and see you on the next one.